Andrzej Żuławski's possession focuses on the excessively turbulent demise of Mark and Anna's marriage, a relationship on the rocks resulting in intense screaming matches that lead to self-harming and physical disgust. Mark encounters the revelation of a toxic affair his wife has had with Heinrich, a snazzy drug dealer, from one affair to another, and a secret nurturing of the evolution of a bestial hellspawn, a beady-eyed, tentacled, oozing mass of grotesquery, develops in increasingly closer towards a replica of a man, specifically Anna's husband Mark, Mark's eventual replacement. Mark's own search for Anna's replacement, his son's teacher, a close resemblance, exaggerates the married couple's pursuit of relationships with doppelgangers, a continuous cycle of dysfunction implying that people never seem to seek too different a change in their romantic partners when they move on to another similar romantic interest. Possession is a complex, layered fusion of of drama, thriller and horror that is equally terrifying for its depiction of volcanic dysfunctional marriage life as it is for its portrayal of impossible monstrosity and graphic murder. From its opening scenes, Possession establishes Mark's and Anna's relationship as on the brink of collapse as Anna tells Mark she needs more space away from him soon after Mark's return from a long trip. From these opening images onward, their relationship goes from bad to worse. Images of division are sown throughout Possession from the prominent featuring of the Berlin Wall which divided West Berlin from East, the wall's role serving as a thematic reinforcement of the film's obsession with divorce and division, to scenes of Sam Neill's Mark and Isabel Adjani's Anna together where they are clearly presented as opposites. For example, a scene within a cafe depicts Mark and Anna sitting apart while discussing their relationship, an encounter so volatile it ends with Mark aggressively knocking glasses from the table and throwing chairs, terrifying Anna until he can be restrained by the cafe's kitchen staff. This is not a healthy marriage, Anna becomes neglectful of their son, whereas Mark becomes violent, physically hitting Anna. Division is important in possession. The film intends to explore the forms division can manifest into, and the impact it can have on an individual. Discussing the inspiration for possession, Peter Sobchinsky writes for RogerEbert.com in his review. Working in the English language for the only time in his career, Shuwowski took inspiration from his 1976 divorce, transforming the anger and depression that resulted from it into a cinematic primal scream of the likes that few moviegoers had experienced then or have since. This is a million times removed from the dated banalities of Kramer vs Kramer and the like. Taking inspiration from such a turbulent period in his own life, resulting in frustration and depression, Zawowski's possession becoming an expression of how division and divorce impact one's self feels weightier. The actor's performances of fury, self-harm and domestic abuse is a manifestation of Zawowski's own anger. When Isabella Arjani's Anna cackling maniacally down the tunnel of a subway before destroying her groceries against the wall, devolving into barking, shrieking, wailing and screaming, rolling around in her own filth, milk and blood. This scene feels like an encapsulation of the devastation and dismay at its most extreme that may bubble away inside someone, discovering that as their relationship collapses, there really is no chance of recovery. The scene emanates hopelessness and fury to such an extent that it's terrifying. Terrifying in the sense that losing the love of your life might feel. The impact is the epitome of extreme dread. Ajani's performance feels so incredibly brutal that it's difficult not to feel some concern for her own personal well-being within the film. Suwaski's anger can also extend to Possession's own monstrous revelations. Anna nurtures the evolution of a beast which she makes love to, a beast which gradually takes the form of her husband Mark. Mark's own romantic interests in his son's teacher who resembles his own wife can be somewhat mirrored in Anna's own bestial affair. As romantic partners move on to the next, what if their next partner is similar to ourselves? What if our next partner is similar to our ex. The resentment of this action is in full force in Possession's climactic spiral staircase scene, when Mark aims a gun at his doppelganger, as if to silently ask, how dare she be with a man who is exactly like me? What makes him better than me? Not only does this feel reflective of resent built up from divorce, but it seems to reflect resentment that develops long after the death of a marriage, targeting the steps an ex-partner may take to move onwards in their own romantic life. Not only is Possession Possession furious with the downfall of a marriage, it is frothing with rage at the daring one has to have to emotionally move on. In conclusion, while Possession isn't necessarily the easiest film
film to follow, the film's conclusion results in the beastly doppelganger of Mark lusting after the Anna doppelganger, the school teacher, through her apartment door, as Mark's and Anna's son drowns himself in the bathtub, possibly to avoid further emotional turmoil in the form of shouting matches between a father figure and a mother figure, a morbid image to close on. Possession is undeniably an aggressive film reflective of Zulawski's own anger and depression through divorce. Zulawski finds division everywhere in Possession, demonstrating the human and historic significance of division. The Berlin Wall, the way Mark and Heinrich fight over the same woman, the way we can lose control in times of vulnerability and turmoil. Possession demonstrates that uncontrollable rage and terror that the uncertainty of division can cause. No scene is left without frustration. It is filled with resent, anger and fury towards everyone and everything, and like eavesdropping on an uncomfortable conversation, it is impossible to escape.